This is Apollo Saturn Launch Control at T-minus 59 minutes and counting. T-minus 59 on the Apollo 9 count. We are go for the mission at this time. Just a matter of some two or three minutes ago, the Vice President of the United States, Mr. Agnew, arrived here in the Launch Control Center. The Vice President, who of course is also Chairman of the Space Council, here to observe the final uh, 60 minutes or so of the count for Apollo 9. When the Vice President arrived, he did meet uh, some of the crews for the upcoming launches. The complete crew for Apollo 10, astronauts Tom Stafford, John Young, and Gene Cernan, and two of the members of the Apollo 11 crew, astronauts Neil Armstrong and Mike Collins. In the meantime, uh, three astronauts in the Apollo 9 spacecraft, Jim McDivitt, Dave Scott, Rusty Swickert, uh, continuing to work on their final checks uh, for this flight. McDivitt and Swickert at this time performing some final checks of the stabilization and control system. In the meantime, we're starting to bring up our, our radio frequency and telemetry checks uh, with the launch vehicle. All still going well at uh, 58 minutes and counting. Our countdown picked up uh, following a six-hour build period and hold at 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time this morning and it has run very smoothly since that time. We've now been in progress a little more than eight hours with the count. The first uh, five hours or so of uh, our final phases of the countdown was devoted to the propellant loading of the three stages of the Saturn V launch vehicle. During this period, we brought in close to three quarters of a million gallons of liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen into the stages of the Saturn V. We now have all our propellants aboard. We have a vehicle on the pad that weighs some 6.4 million pounds. The propellants all aboard at this time and the flight crew uh, going through their final checks in the spacecraft. Uh, during uh, these uh, eight hours or so that we've been in the final count, all aspects of the mission have gone very well. We had one questionable item uh, that was a regulator for helium pressure in the third stage of the Saturn V. We ran several verification tests and were able to determine that a pneumatic control module in the third stage is capable of performing its intended functions and we are able to proceed. Uh, this uh, module plays a part in preparations for the second burn, uh, particularly of the S-4B, the third stage of the Saturn V. Other than that one minor aspect, uh, which was verified by uh, some tests uh, during the count, all other aspects of the mission have gone very well. The prime crew for Apollo 9 was alerted in their countdown as planned at 5.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time this morning. They went, then went down the hall from their crew quarters at the Kennedy Space Center and had a final physical. They were declared in good physical condition and flight ready by Dr. Charles A. Berry and uh, a team of physicians giving the final examinations. Dr. Berry commented that the throats of the astronauts really looked good this morning. Uh, astronaut Rusty Swickert, the lunar module pilot, did request uh, to take a motion sickness pill, and he did uh, take that uh, while he was suiting up a little later in the morning. Uh, following their medical examinations, the astronauts sat down for breakfast in the crew quarters, the usual uh, astronaut menu on launch day of scrambled eggs, steak, uh, toast, orange juice, and coffee. They had some seven guests with them at breakfast. Uh, the crew then uh, went to the suit room where they donned their space, crew, space suits and then were called to the pad uh, some 10 minutes late as we were a little bit behind on bringing the propellants aboard. The crew departed from the crew quarters at 8.05 a.m. Eastern Standard Time this morning and started to board the spacecraft at 8.29. The first member of the crew uh, across the sill was the commander, astronaut Jim McDivitt. He came across at 8.29 a.m. He was followed by the lunar module pilot, Rusty Swickert, who sits in the right-hand seat some five minutes later at 8.34. And the final member, the command module pilot, Dave Scott, who sits in the center seat, uh, came aboard at 8.40 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, the backup command module pilot, astronaut Richard Gordon, was in the spacecraft during this period, uh, aiding all three astronauts in coming aboard. Our countdown continuing at this time, T minus 54 uh, minutes, 20 seconds. The vice president now being briefed here in the control center by Dr. Kurt Debus, who is director of the Kennedy Space Center. The vice president accompanied by Dr. Thomas Payne, the administrator, the acting administrator of NASA, 
Dr. Robert C. Siemens, the Secretary of the Air Force and former Deputy Administrator of the Space Agency, and astronaut Frank Borman, who was the commander for the Apollo 8 mission. Uh, those are some of the key people in the Vice President's party. Our countdown proceeding at this time, all going well. Weather is go for the mission also. We have a forecast of overcast uh, in the Cape Kennedy area, the Complex 39 area, but it is acceptable uh, for launch. The hatch was closed on the Apollo 9 spacecraft at about 9.20 a.m. this morning, and our count has proceeded well uh, since that time. We'll go on an automatic sequence in the countdown. Some, it's about three minutes and six seconds, and from that point on down, uh, all phases of the count will be automatic, leading up to ignition of the five engines in the first stage of the Saturn V space vehicle at the 8.9 second mark in the count. This will be ignition sequence start. It will take some eight seconds or so to build up the proper thrust in those uh, five engines uh, to give us our planned 7.7 .7 million pounds of thrust at liftoff. All engines should be running at the two second mark and we should get commit and liftoff at zero in the count. We're now at T minus 52 minutes, 40 seconds and counting. This is launch control. So from eight to 10 feet away. It will remain in this position until we get to the five minute mark in the count. In the meantime, we're arming the uh, pyrotechnic devices aboard the spacecraft at this time, particularly the launch escape tower, uh, which could be used uh, during these final moments of the count once the swing arm is taken away. All aspects of the mission still going well at this time, aiming toward our planned liftoff time on the hour. T-minus 48 minutes, 18 seconds and counting. This is launch control.